You're, well, you're, I'm not you're... sure if you know about the controversy uh, with the the Dragon Quest composer. No. Where, do tell. Do tell. Uh, story time. He, the Dragon Quest composer, I'm blanking on his name, but he he passed away recently, and it was upsetting because you know he's a legendary video game composer who's done a bunch of games, but he infamously hated the West to the point where Western releases of Dragon Quest games always got MIDI versions of the orchestral soundtracks he wrote. So for the, the biggest example of this is if you watch the reveal trailer for Hero in Super Smash Brothers, the music that plays is an orchestral version of Adventure from Dragon Quest III, but in the actual US version of Super Smash Brothers, Adventure, that same song, it's not the orchestral version, it's all MIDI. Because he, he's like, no, they don't get it. Well, that's a very Japanese thing. Um, and, and, and I'm going to say this, uh, this actually brings up a very good conversation. I'm glad I'm doing this while I'm slightly tipsy. Um, <laughs> there is a major mentality in Japan and I, and I, and I want to say this right now, it's wrong, but mm -hmm. they see it as correct. Um, that says that it's too Japanese and I'm not saying this is what this composer has done, but this is, it reminded me of this, that it's too Japanese. Western audiences simply won't get it. That's a stupid mentality to have. Yeah. A yeah. lot of Japanese filmmakers, particularly filmmakers, have mm. that. Um, my favorite director of all time, Ishiro Honda, the guy who directed so many Godzilla films, he had that mentality. Mm. Uh, the guy who directed the original version of Ring had that mentality. The original director of The Grudge had that mentality that it was too japanese western audiences won't get it despite all evidence to the fucking contrary <laughs> yeah um they still cling on to this to this mentality and it totally baffles me yeah. why it's, why they'd have that especially with like you know the knowledge nowadays that so many people you know in america love Japanese culture and, and Japanese creative media. Yeah, they're weird. So it's like, why, yeah. why would they have that mentality of like, oh, they won't get it when like, we clearly do, you know? Yeah. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Koichi Sugiyama, does that sound? Yeah. Was that That's the composer's, composer's name? name? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was him. That was him? Yeah. Justin Justin Tang commented the, the composer's name. Well, yeah. I know this is, this is a bit of interesting... Uh, trivia for you guys um because this is this is the closest thing that i have sort of a, like a reference point onto here um so yeah the composer of this first off i think the music score for this film is extremely good uh but the music here is by oh this is him oh wow oh, there, you go. Me. there you go there he <laughs> is he did the music so to this. Funny. fuck me Here. There you go. Yeah, he hates the West. Yeah, and yeah, like he that, he adamantly like yep outside music such as the denial of Japanese war crimes and promotion of Japanese nationalism. Mm -hmm. Like the, the first off, the thing about na Japanese nationalism doesn't bother bother me, but the fact that he is a huge denier of Japanese yeah. war crimes that has never sat well with me at all. Shit, I yeah. didn't realize that that was him. I didn't huh. either. I didn't realize that it was the same composer. <laughs> Shit. Who knew that Godzilla had the same composer as Dragon Ball? Oh, no, but that was just it. Yeah. I, I knew he had composed something, but I thought it was Dragon Ball Z for some reason. 